Any of y'all that still thinks that everything I have to say is a skill issue, pull up. I got smoke with you. I want my ones. I ain't playing either. So I've come to a realization, one that I really hoped wasn't the case, but I fear that it is. The anime gaming community just does not understand toxicity, bruh. Y'all don't understand the difference between playing in a way that's simply advantageous to you winning versus playing in a way that is literally toxic to the person you're playing against. Playing in a way that gives you advantages, gives you bonuses, gives you things that you can do against somebody that, you know, it's hard for them to combat and they got to try to figure it out how to get around it versus playing in ways that make it so the opponent literally cannot fight you, cannot engage you in combat or just can't play the game that the way that they want to play it because of the things that you are doing. I'm not talking about a skill thing. I'm talking about you cheesing and not only doing this, but basing your entire play style around doing this. That is the definition of cheese. If you want to use Yajirobe, right? And then you get six bars of your stock or whatever built up. And then you want to eat a sensu bean. Cool, that's not cheese to do that. But if you want to sit there, not engage, run away the whole time, trying your best to only play defensively to build up your stocks so that you can keep on spamming the sensu bean, you are being toxic. You are cheesing. That's the difference between playing meta. You have brought a win at any cost mentality into a space that it doesn't belong. This, you should not be trying to win at any cost in a game where you gain nothing from it. What do you get? from winning a ranked battle in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The satisfaction of knowing you won? I like to win too, but at what cost? And it's a hollow victory because you know that you had to engage in some BS to take the match anyway. It's kind of like that dude back in the day who installed a mod on Sekiro that slowed the entire game down to half speed and he beat the entire game being played at half speed and then made a blog post bragging about how he beat the game at half speed and felt fine. Bro, you don't deserve to brag about anything. You slowed the game down to 50% and beat it. But what are you bragging about? I wouldn't even have told nobody that. You just outed yourself as trash. Speaking on outing yourself as trash, that's what a lot of y'all seem to try to say in my last video. Y'all tried to say that, oh, you're complaining about cheeses and spammers. Just get better, bro. Get good, bro. It's a skill issue. Despite the fact that I literally mentioned that I beat cheeses and spammers all the time, it is not about beating them. See, that's where that win at any cost mindset comes from. Y'all have gotten to the point to where y'all think that winning is more important than the experience in the game. I don't care that I'm playing in a way that's super toxic and actually not even fun. As long as at the end of the battle it says you win, I'm cool with it. I wish all of y'all would go and play something else, bro. Get off of this game. You don't belong here. This don't even just apply to Spark and Zero. This applies to every online game where you can play against other people and you're trying to win. I'm not saying you're not allowed to go super try hard and really try to win. Again, I like to win too, but I'm not about to cheese you out to win. I'd rather lose legitimately. Like y'all have gotten to, again, I'll say it again. Y'all have gotten to the point to where winning is more important than your experience at the game. You want to win more than you want to have fun. If you can win, but it ain't fun in the way you had to win, but you still gained the win, you gonna choose that every time over losing, but you had hella fun in the match. I had people trying to tell me that it is a cold hard fact that if you complain about cheese at all, it's because you can't beat it. Bruh, these dudes simply lack comprehension, bruh. When you play against somebody that's cheesing, it literally ruins your experience. You're not allowed to have fun. Cheesers go out of their way to not allow you to have fun. Cheesers and trolls and spammers, they don't want you to have fun. That's where they get their satisfaction out of. They are satisfied in the fact that you are not having fun in the match. Even if you beat a cheeser, you still lose. You do not enjoy that experience. Most people, like myself, would rather lose to someone who's playing correctly, playing right, versus a cheeser. I mean, winning against a cheeser and a, a spammer. Now, don't get it twisted. It can feel good to beat someone who's cheesing or beat someone who's spamming like the first 10 times. Then after that, it don't even feel good no more, bro. Beating cheeses and spammers. I, I talked about it in my last video as well. I used to be a heavy Xenoverse 2 player back in the day. I played hella ranked. There was hella cheese and spam back in the prime days of Xenoverse 2. Any of y'all who's playing Xenoverse 2 back in those days, y'all know all about all the cheese and spam that was there. I used to beat those dudes all the time, but I stopped playing ranked because I wasn't having fun. It wasn't fun no more. I'm like, bro, I'm tired of, I'm, I'm going to fight a cheeser every match. Really? Every single match? Bruh. And that's another thing. It'd be different if you only ran into a cheeser sometime. If I could play 10 matches and I run into a cheeser one time, maybe twice, 
it's like, all right, most of my matches are good. I hit that cheeser every now and again. Obviously, I'd like to not run into any cheeses at all, but we don't live in a utopia. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. But in Spark and Zero, bro, I swear it's every other match I'm running into a cheeser or a spammer, bro. Half my matches aren't fun for me. Even when I win them, I didn't have fun because instead of being able to play against your skill, I had to play around your cheese. Nobody wants to do that, bro. Especially when you get in the higher ranks and start dealing with skilled cheesers. Yes, there is a such thing as skilled cheesers. I don't know why some of y'all don't acknowledge these people. There are people that play the game, have skill in the game. They're good at the game. They could fight you normally, but they've implemented a lot of cheese into their play style to the point to where they're even harder to beat than they should be because they've elected to cheese on top of the skill that they already gained. I've already explained to y'all before in the way that I view cheese tipping the scale. If I'm this good and you're this good, but you're cheesing and I'm not, you win, period, every single time. If we are the same level of skill and you're cheesing and I'm not, you win every time. The way to tip that scale back in your favor is to be better than the person that's cheesing. You have to be so much better than them that their cheese doesn't matter. And the higher you progress up a ranked ladder, the harder that is going to be to do. Now, again, this is not me complaining about the difficulty of beating people, because if they beat me with their regular pure skill, I don't care. They can bust my head all day. But trying to play around their cheese and beat their skill while also dealing with their cheese, while you have, you know, I guess it's your morality that won't let you cheese back. Bro, it's a conundrum. It's hard to deal with. Don't nobody want to deal with that, bro. I don't mean physically hard to deal with. I mean mentally. It makes you not want to play the game anymore. It makes you it makes you tune out. Like you were just in there ready to sweat. And then they start cheesing. And you're just like, drop playing lax. You lean back in your chair. You don't even want to do it no more. Like, oh my God, bro. What is this? Can I get the nearest bus to take me to the end of this match? Like, what is going on? What, what, what are we doing right here, bro? And again, even if you managed to pull the victory out on the cheeser, and you didn't have fun, they still did because they know that they were cheating the hell out of you and it's pissing you off the fact that they got to deal with that. Despite what I said about how I feel like you a little hoe if you want and done everybody, and I still feel that. I don't care what none of y'all say. If you want and done, you a hoe. Run the set. I agree with one and done and cheesers. I'm not going to play you again if you were just cheesing me, spamming me. Why would I do that? No, that, that, that's a that's an actual verified reason to not, uh, you know what I'm saying, play somebody again. I'm going to one and done a cheeser or a spammer. Why wouldn't I? But if someone's playing properly, bro, come on, man, run the set. I literally had to do it in my comment section say, hey, bro, if I play against somebody and I beat them the first time, I'm leaving. I don't care. If they beat me, I'll run it back because I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my two dubs. You a hoe. <laughs> you a hoe, bro. And things like that, plus the cheese and the spam, are the reason why a lot of people are refusing to play online. Again, go check my video, bro. So many people in my comment section were saying, yo, I straight up am not going to play this game online. I'm not touching ranked. And you got some people that were playing ranked that are like, no, I'm not playing it no more, bro. I don't want to. And about losing, it ain't because people are beating me. They're playing toxic. They're playing cheese. I'm only seeing the same five goddamn characters in rotation. I'm tired of it, bro. I will play online and lobbies with my homies, and that is it. And I can't blame them for it, bro. I can't even get mad. But the thing about it to me is... My, I'm, I'm stuck in a, between a rock and a hard place here, too, because some of y'all don't understand that I actually want to play online. When y'all say, bro, if you don't like the way the online is, just don't play online. Play something else. Easy solution. Dog, that's not a solution. It doesn't solve my problem. I want to play online. Again, I'm going to give y'all this quick little breakdown like I gave in my last video. I'm a gamer. I've been gaming my whole life. I'm really good at video games. Always have been. I need to play people who are actually really good at the game in order to have fun most of the times when I'm playing, you know, fighting games and combat related games. In pretty much every combat game that I play, you know, whether it be a regular fighting game or a brawler or whatever, if you're just an average player, I'm, I'm going to destroy you. Like, that's not me bragging. That's just what it is. You got to be pretty above average to beat me in most of the games that I play is what it is and i promise y'all i don't have a big head about it because i know it's people that are even way better than me that'll bust my head to the white meat make it look like i ain't never played a game before i'm just saying they made the dudes i'm running into bro i'm running into these cheesers and spammers that i can still beat but i'm not enjoying my time playing against them and it's making me not want to play online and i want to play online i want to go into ranked and play against people of you know like skill to me that's what i want to do that's enjoyable for me but I can't do it, or I can do it, but I'm gonna have to sit up here and deal with you cheese and the spammers, and I'd rather not. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I don't wanna make it so that I can only play this game with homies, but y'all are pushing me to that point, and a lot of the community agrees with me. 
So sitting up there saying, bro, just play the custom battle mode. Bro, just play the world tournament mode, bro. Bro, just do the off the you do all the offline battles. You're not helping. You're not helping me by saying that. That's obvious. Captain Obvious. Why do you think you need to tell me that? Oh, if you don't want to play online, just do something else. No shit. I don't want to do something else, though. I want to play online. I just want the community to stop playing like little dickheads. These are the kind of things that makes people stop playing a game. And then when all of the player base, maybe not all of it, but when a lot of the player base stops playing the game because it's so toxic and annoying to play, all the people that's, you know, cheesing and spamming going to do is move on to another game and do it over there. I understand that people will always find cheese and that cheese is not completely avoidable. So I'm going to run into it sometime. Again, if I only fought cheesers and spammers sometimes, I am perfectly okay with that. In Spark and Zero, it's every other match. It's too much. It's too much cheese, bro. I'm not hungry no more. I don't want to deal with it. I want to fight people who are fighting the way that the game was intended to be played and still beating me. Again, I'll lose all damn day to people who are actually skilled and just outskilling me. I don't care. I'm, I've never really been a rager. I don't really rage quit like that. I don't, you know, get mad that I've that, I, that I've lost and throw my controller at my screen and you know what I'm saying. Well, I, I ain't, that ain't me. That ain't me. I'll lose. I, I don't. I don't give a damn. If I have fun in the match, I'll, I'll lose. Whatever. Obviously, I want to win, but I'm not about to engage in cheese and spam tactics just to try to pull that victory off. And the thing about it is, I could do to what I just told y'all, bro, about you know me being really good at games. If I were to implement cheese, if somebody like me were to start cheesing on y'all, bro, I would terrorize the goddamn community. But I ain't gonna do that, cause that's whack, and I would deserve everything that I get negatively. If if I were to do that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever comes from that negative, I deserve all of that. And I don't want no negative, I don't want no smoke, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to enjoy a game, man. Dragon Ball Spark and Zero is one of the biggest Dragon Ball games to ever release. Dragon Ball is my favorite work of fiction of all time. This game is supposed to be absolutely perfect. And again, when I'm playing against non-cheesers and all that, the game is still a 10 out of 10 for me. But anybody who trashes this game and says that they don't like it whatsoever, and they base that on the fact that they're playing against people who are ruining their experience online. I agree. <laughs> I can't get mad at you for that take, bro. And again, the online experience is so baked into the experience that you can't discount it. See, it's different when you're playing like an, a game that can be played completely offline, but it has some online features. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, well, I don't really agree with you bringing the score down a lot because of the online. That's like a, a Souls game, like, like, like Demon Souls or Dark Souls 3. Yes, you can play online. Online multiplayer is a big part of that game. But if you would give Dark Souls 3 a 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying, just for an example, I don't agree with giving it like a 6 or a 7 because the way people play in duels or something. That's not, like, most people don't even participate in that shit. But this is a combat-related game. So that is all you can do. So in games like that, there's a multitude of different things to do. In a game that is based around combat, fighting, there's only one thing to do fight that's all you can do in spark and zero there's different things that set up different scenarios whether you're doing a story fight or a custom fight or an online fight an offline fight a world tournament fight you're still just fighting so when you're playing one of the modes in which you can't enjoy the fighting you're gonna have something bad to say about it and the thing about the offline in a game like Spark and Zero, there's only a finite amount of things you can do. There's only so much things you can do before you clean house on all the content, bro. You can play the entire story mode, do all the what ifs, do all the world tournaments. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that's left now is custom battles and playing against other people online. And I know custom battles is a super dope feature, but newsflash, not everyone cares about it as much as y'all do. And I ain't talking about myself. The custom battles are super dope to me. I made a couple of them myself, but like I said, not everybody even really cares about the custom battles. Only thing they really want to do is fight other people. Again, like I said, I want to fight other people. Ranked mode is fun for me. I've gotten really high ranked in Tekken 8. I'm a decent rank in Street Fighter 6. I like playing ranked mode. But when you play like a little hoe and cheese people out and use you know, abuse mechanics and spam all the time, you ruin the gaming experience. You toxicify the community and you make it so that people don't want to engage in it anymore. And I just hate that it seems that that is happening with Spark and Zero. The honeymoon phase of Spark and Zero is truly over with. People are starting to speak out about this game as they should. And they don't have the most positive things to say. And it's because of the community. That is why I'm going so hard on it right now, because it's not necessarily the game. Now, I did have someone in my comment section try to argue with me that 100% of blame goes on the developers. I'm so glad that y'all dudes aren't devs, bruh. Because, again, 
human beings. We're, we're too we're too intelligent sometimes. No matter the, a perfect combat system cannot be made. I don't care how good you are. You cannot create a perfect combat system where no cheese or spam exists. It's not possible because people are too creative. Someone's going to always find a way to cheese or spam. It is always going to be discovered no matter what you do. You show me an actual legitimate perfect combat system where there's no cheese or spam, and I will show you the most boring, predictable combat in a game period. And in my personal opinion, they made a really, really good combat system with Sparkling Zero. But it does have abusable mechanics and things that need to be fixed and patched. And I'll say it again. When the developers said that the game was going to be unbalanced, they did not say it was going to be straight up busted or broken. They don't need to balance the characters to make it so that you can use anybody and they're all on even plane. No, you can make the strong characters feel strong, the weak characters feel weak. I have no problem with that. But what you don't need to do is make it so that Yajirobe can eat a million goddamn sensu beans every damn match. Make it so that after him and strike makes you literally untouchable. You pretty much use three blast stocks to activate Ultra Instinct for the next 15 seconds to the point where even explosions can't touch you. I know some of y'all have seen that video where the dude used after him and strike against Vegeta's final explosion and he just teleported all over the goddamn place dodging the explosion. How you move out the way of an explosion? other than actually moving the hell far away. How you do that? After him strike, <laughs> we'll show you how to get it done. The move is too strong, simply. And things like unblockable ultimates, I understand it's Broly, legendary Super Saiyan Broly, Z Broly. I get who he is, why his ultimate is unblockable, but bro, this does not belong in a ranked setting. Maybe there should be a setting that they should enable in the code or something to make it so that you can actually block it only when playing online or something. I mean, it, ain't just, it ain't even just Broly. I'm just saying. Yeah, Broly also has super armor. Remember how uh, in Tenkaichi 3, depending on the level of the character, you could break through a super armor if you were strong enough? Like, if you're a regular Goku, you might have to hit the giant character or character with super armor a few times to break through it. But if you're Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you could immediately just break it on the first hit. Where, where, what happened to that mechanic? What happened to key sickness and the key drain? Where, where did that go? These things need to be re-implemented so that you get drawbacks for doing certain things. For example, in Sparking Zero, I spoke on how you can literally use an instant sparking move and get your sparking mode activated immediately. Cool, no problem with that. But after it runs out, or after you use your move or whatever, you could just do it again. Because if you just engage in the combat, you gain blast stocks so fast in this game that you could pretty much infinitely instant spark over and over and over and over and over again until the match is over with. That should not be a thing. That should be drawbacks. You know what I'm saying? You should get key sickness or something when you use the instant spark move. As soon as your thing run out, key sickness, nigga. You can't charge as fast. Maybe there's a cool down on the uh, blast stock moves. Something, bro. The game and character roster being unbalanced does not mean that the actual feel of the gameplay has to feel broken and busted. And like you can't do anything about certain things. That's not what they intended when they said that, bro. There's a few other gripes I have with the game as well, such as the vanish battles, you know, being the same speed. So you pretty much can just vanish infinitely back and forth with an opponent until one of y'all runs out of key and it happens way too often it's, it, it's annoying i'm tired of doing it bro it's too easy to time so it, 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 i'm tired of it not to mention that you literally get blast stock every time you successfully vanish during a vanish battle so it's actually a strategy to make vanish battles happen over and over to build just toss up you find against somebody like yajirobe engaging in vanish battles you're gonna be eating sensu beans like a mug i feel like i'm starting to go into mostly negative stuff about this game and i'm not trying to do that again i love the game but I don't love playing it with y'all niggas in the community because y'all are toxic and y'all don't even know that y'all are toxic. And it is sad, sad, sad. At least the trolls back in my day knew they were being toxic. Y'all don't even think y'all are being toxic with the things y'all are doing. Y'all think it's just normal. It's, it's meta. Playing, playing with cheese and spam is meta. Hold up, bro. This is actually me from a different day. I'm editing this video, and I just need to throw this in. I got a comment from some dude who literally said, complaining about cheese? You must be new to the FGC, homie. Cheese is life. Adapt or die. Bro, the community is cooked. As y'all can see down below, I then proceeded to challenge this man to whatever fighting game of his choosing, and he can play as cheese as he wants to, and I guarantee that I'll beat this dude. Talking about I'm new to the FGC, bro, I do this. And as of the time of this editing, this man still has not responded. So I think I might just go ahead and block him. Or I might just leave him there. Y'all gonna make fun of him on that video. That is crazy to me, dog. But yo, I pretty much just wanted to go ahead and go in on that. Some of the points that I've seen from other videos, you know, from other video that I had talking about Spark and Zero, some of the things y'all said. Maybe I'll start ranting about things more often, you know, whenever I feel I need to rant about something, I'll use this as a platform to get it off. But understand, at the end of the day, I really love this game. 
I'm enjoying the hell out of my Spark and Zero experience. Don't 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 get it twisted. My experience is not completely ruined by these dudes, but it is making it so that I don't have the the want to play it every single day like I thought I would. I thought I was gonna be on this game every single day for the next few months. I find myself only booting on Spark and Zero every 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 few days. You know what I'm saying? Okay legitimately booting it up so like i will go in and go into training mode and just mess around like you know maybe run around do a few transmissions to look at animations you know what i'm saying normal stuff but as far as like actually playing the game for real probably only every few days and that should not be the case for a game that we've been looking forward to for so goddamn long it's crazy but that's gonna do it for this video i'm done ranting man i'm about to go ahead and just throw this up and y'all do what y'all want to with this video bro by the way any of y'all that still thinks that everything i have to say is a skill issue pull up I got smoke with you. I want my ones. I ain't playing either. I want my runs, bro. I am eventually going to do streaming with this game, and I'm going to be streaming playing against y'all viewers. And if any of y'all that was talking that head want to pull up, bro, just, hey, let me know. You know what I'm saying? When y'all see me live, hit the subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? So you can catch me when I get live, and y'all can pull up, and we can run these battles. I don't care who you use in these battles. Do what you want to do. But if you get the cheese in, I'm going to kick you. <laughs> <laughs> just understand that but that's gonna do it baby show a lot of love to this video like share and subscribe get at me in the comment section about anything that you feel about this game if you disagree agree whatever again i don't have a problem with you disagreeing but if you express opinions that i find stupid in the comment section i'm gonna reply to you i'm not one of them youtubers that ignores this comment section i'm gonna get down in the comments and we're gonna spar if we need to spar as this is what it is so yeah now for real this time show a lot of love to the video like share and subscribe the next time we up out of this thing so with Darryl, we signing out Thanks. Hey.